open wide. No, what's with a banana cream pie? How's that supposed to help? It's supposed to make you feel better. <sighs> Janet, listen, no offense, but I Whoa. really just need... No offense? Come on, that's an awfully formal word coming from somebody who's seen me in my undies. Okay. Come on, it's from the Purple Leopard. Can't go wrong what, with Purple Janet. Leopard. <laughs> Look, you've had a rough night. Can't be easy arresting your cousin's husband. People talk around here. I listen. Yeah, I really don't want to get into I know you don't want to talk about it. In fact, I don't think we should talk. Because you and me, we're not about talking. We're about sex. Uncomplicated sex. All right. Uh, and you're still okay with that? Hell yeah. It's all about sex and pie. <laughs> pie and sex. <laughs> Come okay. on. Come on, have a taste. I'll say sex one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to give me fat? I'm trying to give you an excuse to work out naked. Come on now, just think of how many calories we could burn off if you play your cards right. Jack and Janet doing it? No way. Way? Like you didn't see this coming? Liberty, why would I even think that this would be an issue? Now she I don't knows know. you're not interested in her. What do you think she's going to do? Shrivel up and swear off sex forever? No. No, well, I mean, I don't know what I would. I mean, I thought that maybe Janet would get. I, I don't know what I thought, okay? Well, this is what always happens with my mom. It doesn't work out with one guy, so poof, there's another one. Two seconds later, it's not a big deal. What are you so freaked out about? Yeah, that's a good question. I can't bring anything. We have got everything we need here, so just focus on having a good time and looking fabulous. I think you're making too much of this. Is this or is this not your first dinner date since your divorce from Jack? I, I don't consider dinner with friends an actual date, really. Besides, I barely know Neil. This could be the last date. He, he, he could chew with his mouth open for all I know. Since he's successful and wealthy and British, my guess is that he's housebroken. Ooh, he's going to bring you flowers. We're not going to the prom. He's not going to bring me flowers. You've landed yourself a very fancy guy. Don't you know it's the fancy ones you have to look out for? They dazzle you with limousines and turn out to be jewel thieves. <sighs> Will you try not to talk yourself out of this before anything even happens? Oh, well, there's a reason to hate him. He's early. Be nice. You could end up marrying this guy. Never happen. You never know. I'll see you soon. Bye. We cannot do this dinner tonight. You need to make up some excuse. Don't go. dinner now. Lily made lamb. Neil's on his way. Tell him you got sick. I was just talking to Lily just now. She knows I'm not sick. Couldn't you at least wear an ugly dress? I cannot have wine and cheese and pretend that everything is normal between us. If I can do it, so can you. Lily thinks something's going on. What? Why do you say that? Did she say something? She keeps asking me if something's wrong, and I keep lying to her. She's not pushing the issue yet. What happens when we're all in the same room together? And I'm looking at you. You think she won't know how much I want you? She better not. She better not see anything, Holden, or I will never forgive you. Is this date that important to you? I'd rather be with you. But that can't happen. You, you're married. You have a family. You, you and Lily can make it work. You have a chance to be happy. I'm not going to let you throw that away. I won't do it. Oh, OK. So going out with this guy, you're doing it for me. I want to like him. I want him to make me laugh. I want him to make me feel pretty. What else? Are you asking me if I'm going to sleep? I don't think I have the right to do that. Damn straight you don't. I'm going to be in that room tonight, too, you know. 
where Lily will be touching you and kissing you, and I'm supposed to pretend that it doesn't matter to me. Then stay away. I can't. I cannot bail on dinner because Lily will worry about me. I can't erase the fact that you and I slept together. And I, I can't stop the fact that I want to be with you again. I want that too. I want that. I can't have you. So I have two choices. Be alone or find somebody else. I don't want to be alone. All right. Then we'll do what we need to do. Carly, please be honest. About what? If I've offended you or overstepped in some way, I'd like to know. I tend to barge ahead without taking no for an answer. Given your friend Lily and my attempt to get you to come to dinner tonight, I hope you don't feel forced into this tonight. Not forced. Pursued. Relentlessly pursued. So you just said yes to be polite. I see. No harm done. I'll just take my potted plant and go. Never to darken your doorstep again. Neil, what about dinner? I'll send her regrets. It's been nice knowing you. I, I wasn't just being polite. But if you're going to give up on me, just like that. Well, I'd stay away for a day, perhaps two, and then the vision of you in that dress would come to me unbidden and galvanize me into action. And you'd give me a call. I'd write a heartfelt letter asking you to forgive any sin I've committed. And would you deliver this letter in person? Of course, accompanied with a veritable truckload of wildflowers, hoping against hope you'd change your mind and allow me to get to know you. Allow me to know you, lovely Carly. Give me back my orchid. I like it. And you. But you're upset about something. It's nothing to do with you. Splendid. Then all that's left is to show you a good time and to put your worries at rest. Well, I, I think I should confess I do have a lot of worries. Oh. No match for a man of my singular determination. Let's go. You're going to have a good time tonight, lovely Carly. Okay, Parker's not answering his cell phone. He's not answering the phone at home. Well, he did, I'm sure he saw me. And he just took off without saying anything. Yeah, it's not like him at all. Oh, you know kids that age. One minute they're begging you for money, and the next minute they're treating you like you're lamer than, I don't know, big friends. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That covers it, whatever you say. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Take a look. You want some coffee? No, thank you. I need to talk with you. About what? Outside. Okay, clearly you're upset about something. You want to clue me in? Don't try to deny it. Gonna need a bigger clue than that. You slept with Janet. So? So? But you see, you made a big mistake. What is wrong with you? Listen, I warned you. Stop pushing me. I warned you. I told you that Janet was super vulnerable ever since I rejected her. Yeah. But well, you can't you can't stay away from her? <laughs> you gotta go after her? What are you talking with you? about? We do... Listen to me, you're a happily married man, right? Why don't you go be happy and stay out of my private life? Well, it's not so private when you're practically making out in broad daylight. We were having coffee, Brad. It was coffee. And whatever Janet and I do, it's none of your damn business. It is my business when it involves my daughter. What does Liberty have to do with any of this? Because she's the one, she's the reason why I found out that you two were doing it. Oh, you think you're being so private? You think you're being so private, Jack? Why don't you ask your son how he feels about you two hooking up? My son? Look, you know, I don't know what's worse. You know, Janet, you know, laying it all out for Liberty like she's some sort of gal pal? Or are you hiding things like Janet's some like, dirty little secret? I hate this. It is just like what Mom used to do. What? 
Where'd that come from? Janet's nothing like mine. No, but you are! You're just like her. Lying about who you... You really are. You... What are you doing? Checking for bruises. The way Brad came after you, I thought, one of you'd end up bloody. What the hell was he so bad at a shit? Oh, same reason Parker wouldn't talk to me. Did you tell Liberty about us? That we were... Sleeping together? Absolutely it... not. Well, then how'd you find out about it, Janet? Look, you asked me to keep it on the DL, and that's exactly what I did, but... Yeah. But, but what, what did you, what did you say to her? Jack, she's not stupid. She probably saw it with her own eyes. I mean, for goodness sakes. I can't believe this. What? What's wrong with her knowing? It's the truth. Yeah, but it's, it's the details they don't need to know about, okay? What they think and what they, and when what is confirmed are two completely different things. Jack, Jack, you're a cop. What happened to the truth and nothing but? Because, see, in my book... Keeping secrets from her is the same thing as lying to her. But, but in my book, protecting them from things that they are too young to know about, that's where I'm coming from, okay? I did not want Parker to know about this. Okay. Well, just as long as you're not mad at me. You, uh, you're still coming over later, right? I mean, you're not gonna just leave me hanging with foreplay, are you? Lily was telling me about the stables over at the Snyder farm. How I had no idea you actually breed horses. I do. Holden's been around horses his entire life. He actually has bred and trained some outstanding thoroughbreds. Impressive. Do you ride? Yes, uh, born and raised in Montana. It's a requirement. Do you? I love it. Didn't I hear you say something about owning a horse farm? In Buenos Aires, we breed polo ponies. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. I've always wanted to go to Argentina. It must be beautiful. It is. Orcas grow like wildflowers down there. <laughs> you should come. You and Holden should come too, now that I know you know horses. Count me out. I have no interest in polo. And no respect for anyone who plays it. Well, your disdain would apply to me also. I play polo. Yeah, I figured. Holden, when did you become so opinionated about polo? I, I'm sure you didn't mean to insult Neil. No harm done. Polo is rather hopelessly British Empire, isn't it? But it is a marvelous sport. Mm. That's one way to describe it. I um, would like to hear more about this construction project of yours. What would you like to know? I think polo is abusive. It's an open invitation for horses to get injured. Well, the same could be said about rodeo, don't you think? Besides, in both cases, the riders get hurt far more than the horses. Rodeo events are based on actual ranch skills. Holden. There's no point to a bunch of society types swinging sticks, clubbing each other and their horses. Holden, that's enough. Uh, Lily, I just remembered I have to be at Metro tonight. I'm so sorry. I hope you understand. Really? You have to go? Yeah. Yeah, I think I should. Is that okay with you? That's totally fine. Thank you so much for being such a gracious host. I'm sorry you can't stay longer. Me too. Thank you. Um, well, thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, why didn't you answer me when I called you? I was just reading this note that Mom left for me. Parker, no cookies before dinner. Run the dishwasher. Take out the trash. Love you. P.S. Microwave the casserole for four minutes. Well, since you already cracked open the cookies, it's good that you're following your instructions to the T. I just didn't want some stupid casserole. Listen, I know you're upset. You heard that Janet and I were seeing each other. And maybe, maybe you're not ready for me to see someone new. Does it matter if I'm ready for that? Parker. Hey, would you stop, please? Sit down. Let's talk about this now, okay? You and your brother and your sister, you will always, always, always be my number one priority. What's happening with Janet, it's, it's not that big a deal. How can you say that after you caught me with liberty and laid into me when all we did was kiss? I thought I did not lay into you. Oh, you gave me this entire lecture about how important it is to make sure that the girl wants to be well, kissed yes. and how important all that stuff is. Okay, wh wh what's happening with you and liberty is vastly different. That's right, because kissing someone is much less of a big deal than having sex with someone. At least it should be. 
One of the servers is going to bring us something to eat. It won't be lamb. <sighs> it's better than nothing. You must be starving. I didn't even have time to sample an appetizer before your friend Holden started in. Is he always so hot-headed? I, I think he has a lot on his mind. Seemed a bit more specific than that. More like he was hostile to the idea of you going out with me. This is a small town. I, I guess people here think they have a stake in everyone else's life. <laughs> Must be tedious. Rather like living your life in a petri dish. <laughs> you know, two of my kids got to go away camp this summer. And when I'm not missing them, I'm envying them. So you're longing for mosquito bites and poisoned ivy? Adventure, maybe. And I'd like to get away. Montana, maybe? Just be. But you have your other son to worry about. Oh, I don't think he'd mind some time alone with his father, really. And then you your business? Yes, well, I have a friend, Henry, and sometimes he looks after the place for me. But I'm, I'm really just daydreaming. Listen, I'm all for the idea of taking time for yourself. But you might want to reconsider your destination. What's wrong with Montana? Mm. I thought you might prefer a few weeks in Paris. With me. I can see I've taken you by surprise. I can't go to Paris with you. Then why don't we take a virtual trip first, just to test the waters? How do we do that? First of all, you close your eyes. And no, I prefer traveling with both eyes open and both your hands in plain sight. Wise as well as lovely. I've got some business to attend to, so I'll be busy most of the time. Mm -hmm. And what would I be doing? Visiting museums, sauntering the boulevards, mm -hmm. shopping, relaxing. Where and with whom? In my flat. With your own private room, and alone if you like. And what about what you like? I just want to see you happy. No stress, no pleasure. Whatever happens between us happens or not. And how many other women have you invited to Paris this way? Touché. Mm. Admittedly, this is not my first such liaison. And how does it normally work out for you? Well, within the course of a few weeks, we either find ourselves becoming lovers, or parting as friends, or simply, we just part. Well, I thank you for the offer. I really do. Carly, but... let yourself think about it. Take me out of the equation for one moment, and let yourself think about Paris. Incomparable art. Exquisite food, wine, fashion. All you have to do is say yes. Okay, you're right. Uh, maybe I didn't say it right before. Okay, what, what? Of course, what happens with Janet and me matters. She matters. Are you in love with her? I like her. And she likes me. And we're both on the same page about what we expect from each other. And we're acting responsibly so nobody gets hurt. Are you gonna marry her? No, no, buddy. I respect her, but neither one of us are looking to get married, okay? Maybe okay for you. But not for you. Okay. What happens when you break up with Janet? Like you did with Katie and you did with Mom. What happens to me and Liberty? But, but you and Liberty, if you like each other, then you guys will be fine. Listen, at, at your age, things change so fast. In a few weeks, you guys might not even be talking. Okay, I am so sick of hearing about how things are at my age. I just want to be older so I can actually start living my life. Okay, just, just time out with getting older, okay? Let me take care of you for a while. At least let me warm up the casserole. Yeah, and you can take out the trash, too. <laughs> Don't press your luck. Come on. Snyder. Jack, it's Janet. Um, well, I was kind of hoping you weren't still mad at me. Are you crying? I'm crying, but not over you. Okay, really, and, and I'm not just doing a girl thing and telling you that I am not crying over you because I really am, because this time I totally am not crying about you. <laughs> Have you seen Liberty? Um, I really need to find her. No, did you check with uh, Brad and Katie? They were just here. They want me to leave town. 
Why? I gotta go. I gotta pack. The idea of going to Paris is... What do I have to do to get you to say yes? That guy does have bloody awful timing. Sorry to interrupt. I came to apologize. You were just being honest. One can't fault you for that. Honestly, I have nothing against Polo. Just been going through some things recently, and uh, I kind of took it out on you. I embarrassed Lily and Carly in the process. I hope you could accept my apology. Consider it done. Neil, I, I think you have a phone call to make. Splendid. I'll be right back. What's he so happy about? What you did today. The way you acted, that can never happen again. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. And this guy? Not right for you. Well, I'm going to Paris with him for a couple of weeks. You don't even know him. Why are you doing this? Because of what you just said. That you couldn't help the way you were acting. Well, I care too much about you to risk that happening again, so maybe with some time. Is there a problem? No, no, no problem at all. Hey, have a good time in Paris. Oh, man. One would almost think he was jealous. Holden's not jealous. He, he's, he's related to my ex-husband, so... I see. That explains the territorial vibe that was literally steaming off him. Snyder men can be possessive. And let's not give him a chance to change your mind. I've called my secretary. She's organizing the flights and preparing the flat in Paris. I am delighted you decided to join me. Me too. Paris is just what I need right now. Excellent. That's why Brad and Katie think you're a bad influence, because of the two of us? I think that is the real reason that Brad was mad. It's ridiculous. Janet, come on. You don't have to leave town because Brad says you have to. Well, he's not going to pay my bill here anymore, and there's no place else I can go that's decent that I can afford. I need a place that's safe for Liberty to come and hang out with me. Oh, my God. How can I leave Liberty? No, you don't have to. Janet, come home with me to the farm. Well, for tonight, great. <laughs> 